Marriage is an unwavering commitment to another person, a commitment that finds and brings out the best in each other. Marriage offers opportunities to share and to grow like no other relationship can equal. It is physical, emotional, spiritual, the joining together of two lives into one lifetime promise. You know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because the reality is finally better than your dreams. Gloria and I have been friends for about three years now. Gloria is a caring and kind soul who will cheer you on no matter what. She has your back and will be there for you when you're going through your low points and celebrate you through your high points. They say that the best part of love and marriage is caring, kindness, tenderness. And I know that Gloria has a fountain of love to share with the new family creating with Roy. It's my pleasure to be joining you on this special day to celebrate with my longtime friend and his groupie that followed him along in high school to check out his apps. Wait, I mean his sweetheart, his high school sweetheart. Shortly after we met in grade seven, one of our mutual friends, who told me in hindsight could have worked for the UFC, set up a schoolyard fight between me and Roy. We were to fight each other until one of us said mercy. My friend taught me a great lesson that day that I'll never forget till this day. Never judge a man by his size. And later he would teach me another, always judge a man by the size of his heart. The great acts of love are done by those who continually perform small acts of kindness. Love is speaking words of appreciation and encouragement and demonstrating gratitude for one another every day. It is standing together and embracing the world. Love is inspiring in each other your dreams and your goals and having the conviction to chase them together. It's not every day you get to marry your soulmate. And regardless of what life threw at me, you were always there to support me and encourage me, to cheer me up when it wasn't so easy, and to make me begrudgingly celebrate when times were good. Today, I get to marry my best friend. <laughs> You're my favorite person, my other half, my anchor. And even after seven years together, I still want to spend all my time with you. You were always there with your warmth, your love, support, and friendship. I don't know what the future holds, but I feel comforted knowing you're by my side and we'll weather all storms together. As your wife, I promise to support you in all of your goals and endeavors and to keep reminding you to take time for yourself to do things you enjoy. When it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year, I'll be there for you, because you're there for me too. And I promise to always fill our home with laughter and silliness. I loved growing up with you the past few years, and I can't wait to grow old with you. I don't know where life will take us, but I'm so glad get to go on this journey together with you. It gives me great pleasure to declare you for the very first time legally married and present you for the very first time as husband and wife. You may now share your first kiss as husband and wife.
I've known Roy and Gloria for about six years now. They are hilarious people who laugh at literally everything, and they don't take themselves too seriously. They make everyone they hang out with feel very comfortable instantly, and that's something they did for me when I first moved to Toronto. Roy, I am very glad that you are always willing to help. In all the times that I've asked you for anything, you've never said no. You are super easygoing, A plus friend, and I'm sure you're going to be an A plus plus husband and daddy. Cause it's you and me and all of people, nothing to do, nothing to prove, and it's you and me and all of the people, and I don't know why I can't keep my eyes off of you. I know now how beautiful the relationship is. I always thought it was kind of kooky that um, someone so musically and creatively inclined like Gloria and someone so calm and very toned down and not like Gloria at all, like Roy, could work so well together. But seeing them binge shows like The Office or Friends or, or whatever and singing the theme songs together and laughing together Something that I think all of us should deserve to have, this kind of love. Friendship is often based on shared interests. However, to be a lifelong companion, different attributes are crucial so that they can complement each other. As we go through new life stages, it's easy to think that we've mastered a level and moved on to the next. Becoming an adult, graduating from school, getting married, Stay humble, curious, and open-minded always. Every new level is a different journey with unfamiliar challenges. At least, now you have a partner with whom you can share every step along the way. Uh, welcome and thank you all for being here today to celebrate Gloria and my son Roy's marriage and uh, witness them embark on this new chapter in their life.